Right, hello, I'm going to do a rather simple video on what's called a Crookes light meter or light mill. And basically these are also known as ronchonometers, although I prefer not to use the word ronchonometer for this because that's better applied to things like ionization chambers, you know, measuring ronchons. But a Crookes light mill is essentially a vacuum tube that has sails in it that spin when exposed to light. So when you're in a room with the lights on, it kind of shakes a little bit, as you can hopefully see, but doesn't really do much. Now, what's fascinating with these is, yes, they do respond to ionising radiation, but um, it's quite hard to get levels of ionising radiation high enough to hit the sails and safely do stuff with it. So, if you have visible light, let's say from a flashlight, like that, um, that will make it spin. So if I put that there, you should hopefully start seeing it spin, but it's not very effective at doing it. And the reason for that is, is that basically it's not very focused light. So if you get a really, really bright flashlight and it has a zoom function on it, it will spin more efficiently. As you can see, it doesn't spin all that efficiently with that. Now here's something very interesting. Here's a zoomable IR flashlight. Now the camera can just about see the IR, but the human eye really can't. But if we put the IR flashlight on it, notice it spins pretty efficiently. So yeah, it responds to IR light. But here's the really interesting thing. Look what happens when we get a laser pen. So here I've got um, I've got my safety goggles on. Here we've got a laser. I'm just going to defocus this ever so slightly. What I want is the laser to be, there we go, the sort of right size to hit a sail pretty efficiently. So that's still spinning a bit from the previous test, but never mind. Let's shine that onto the sail. Let me just get the angle right. And watch that go. If I get the angle completely right, it will go even faster. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, that's what happens when you expose um, sort of focused laser energy onto um, a Crook's um, light mill. You know, light mill's the easiest way of looking at it. Think of windmill, but light moving it, not wind. And yeah, so whatever word you want to use for them. Visible light, not all that good at moving them unless it's very bright, very intense, sort of focused on it. Infrared light seems to work surprisingly well. But yeah, as I said, lasers. Let me just defocus that laser a bit more, actually. That might make it even easier to do it. So there we go, defocus laser. Probably shine it about there. And there we go again. Spinning really, really, really efficiently. I've never seen it move that fast as you get with moving it with lasers. It actually looks slower on the camera because it's moving at the camera's frame rate, essentially, on the camera. Whereas in reality, that's like a blur. But, um, yeah. There we go.